Hi there, the Seaworthy Phil Thomas Cat here, and welcome my friends to the UZ Canoe Trip. Come on, Gilligan, let's go. Ah, Captain A, man. Tommy, look out, it's rapids ahead. <laughs> We're going too far to the right. <laughs> A lot of chance nurses in the boat. No one is more scared than me. For if something were to happen, my job is to grab the cameras and make sure this story is told. Oh, they're rapids. Oh, we have to be, please pay attention. Oh, look out. Look out, my friends, look out. Look out, my friends. Oh, the splashing, oh, it's incredible. Oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. I believe the danger is over. Once again, we have steered clear of danger because it is a very dangerous place here on the river. We'll be back with more after this. When you notice the calmness over there, it is very intriguing, but whirlpools are everywhere. They will suck you under to 25 feet. No man has survived. But once a woman came out alive... Navigating oh. through the treacherous waters of the river can be hazardous, as you see. Many tree stumps line the river's edges. And if you look there between the trees, you will see the deadly monitor lizard. One bite of his fangs will kill you and everyone around you. The dangers are all over the river, but we brave them to bring you this story. Uh, the green grass is a beautiful sight, but a lot of times lurking in the grass is the deadly anaconda snake, which can grow to sizes of over 160 feet. And if you look closely, you will see part of a mast from a Spanish ship that once traveled these waters. And now here along the river, sometimes we can see the alligators as they come up to the side of the boat to nip off a finger or two. Now if you will look straight ahead there, you will see a baby Galapagos tortoise. There are not many left in this area. A lot of the natives capture them and use them for Galapagos soup. And if you will notice over here, the natives are civilized. There is aluminum cans. Incredible. Probably some kind of homemade brew that the natives like to drink. Upon further inspection, it was a diet RC. <laughs> well, we made it to the first sandbar. I'm uncharted some. Oh. 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 Water. Gotta have some water. Help me. The adventure continues on the Uncharted Zone. Hi, Captain. Wobble in the ship, sir. Hi, Phil Thomas Cat here out here on the beautiful Blackwater River on Bob's Canoes. Tommy's out scouting somewhere. I'm not really sure where he is. Oh, wait. There he is now. Any luck, Tommy? I say, any luck, boy? Well, you know, I've been scouting for about a mile, and I gotta tell you, there's no bathrooms anywhere. 
You kidding me? No. We were traveling along at a good rate of speed when I noticed a stump in the river about to overturn our canoe. And then quickly I noticed that around the bend lurked many people wanting to steal our potato chips and soft drinks. Because they did not stop at the convenience store, which was convenient to us a hundred yards before. But then while filming I noticed some clothes on a tree. I'm hoping to find maybe some young maidens in need of some help possibly in distress. Just in case of such an emergency, I have brought an extra change of women's clothing, size 6-7. Garden, 